Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back and welcome all of you to another part of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So, we have Lila who is over there, even though we can't see her, which is a kind of an odd thing. But we have, hi, thank you for interrupting me. We have to follow her, which is, goodbye Nia, it was nice knowing you. Which is part of a big deal for Tora, because Tora apparently knows her and... That's an interesting thing, so we're gonna try to follow her and find out what this is all about because Lila seems to be another artificial blade. And by Tora's reaction, he seems to know her, but... Where from is the question? If you can deduce that by yourself without knowing the game... Congratulations! I'm not gonna say anything mean towards that because um, I, I guess it's kinda obvious why he would know it, but still. Uh, oh, that, oh god, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, I'm back here. So, how about I don't walk right through the steam this time and concentrate more on going around the other way. That was poorly judged. I don't know why I it didn't click on me that the steam might be a bad thing. I was like, okay, still cool. Let's walk through that. That's gonna be not hot and dangerous at all. That's gonna be a nice change of pace, like boiling our own skin up there. Smart decisions you do. Seriously, freaking such an idiot. Goodbye. That was big bang to go out on. Hope you enjoyed it. You were uh, crushed by me. Let's turn that valve. So, now we can move on where we need to be. Get ourselves a treasure trove while we're here as well. That's just a common core crystal. Whatever, let's shove everyone out of the way. Since we're at it, why not? Okay, so... This is... Hi, bye. Um... You took too long to realize that I'm next to you, so I'm gonna ignore you. Bye. Lila! <coughs> Wait, please! She not listening, nothing for it but to chase. She's really jumpy, like a frog. Hi, if you ignore me, I'm gonna ignore you as well. It's just healthy for you. Um, okay. Yep, that's the way. Sorry, I need to defeat you. You're right in front of my face. I don't have any other choice than to do that. I'm sorry if you dislike it, but you know, sometimes the choice comes easier for me than it comes for you, so, I mean, what else would you have thought would happen here? You shouldn't have stood right in front of me. You blocked me there. Not happy about that. Let's use some Photon to deal a good bit of damage and see if we can push ourselves up to the stage 3 there. Actually, I could have gone for her own uh, fully charged attack, but whatever. I did not think about that, so whatever, I didn't do it. And smack that in your face and eat another photon. Ruinous water should be close enough so that it's uh, doing us a good bit. Oops, nearly missed the button dash. So now, um, I don't think I can make it up there. Well, nobody could. That was way too quick to react to anything. So moving on, there's so many of you, and I'm just gonna skip past it. So, dealt with all of them right here, gonna quickly jump into the affinity charts here, because um, Puppy got something out of that, Naponing Storm I think it was, beautiful, make you a little bit stronger that way, like to see that. So, um, where are you? Lila, hey, could you... WAIT! Master Pawn? We're not letting her get away! Puppy, help chase too! Go as fast as possible! So he's really, really involved in this fight. So there's a... Um, there's no actual real way down here. We can just jump however, so we don't care. 
And we don't need to worry ourselves about the people down here because we we just walk this way and are you? Where are you? Tora, wait. Did you know that girl? She seemed somehow similar to Poppy. It was Lila. Lila? The artificial blade Tora's dad upon and Grampy Pon were making. Tora recognized her anywhere. Master Pon, there an ether furnace reading nearby. Up there. Is Ether furnace reading detected. Initiating protocol. No Alda engage. Let's do this. Okay, now we have to fight against Lila, the artificial blade that Tora's father and grandfather built together. Um, let's try and do this as quickly as possible, which means we are at the exact same level as her, which is a good thing. Um, you are weak to water, so actually drama would be an amazing choice for that. And at that as well having... Um... If it would stone run out, that would help us actually a good bit there. So I wanna however deal as much damage as possible, so let's not just run out the clock here. And I'm gonna wait now, because now I can't do anything because I don't have an electric type blade with me, which is quite the shame, but whatever. Come on, we are broken, so let's let you topple. That helps me a little bit more, heal everyone up. And spike you here, and side attack to do this, you're broke again. It's gonna really help me if I can do that yet again. And topple. Really, really good if that works out that way. Now launched as well, but we cannot get rid of the Gaia crash that way, so maybe I should stop doing that for the time being. Even though it's extremely good, I want to get rid of the Gaia Crash because it doesn't do me any good. You're invincible at the moment, so I can't do much there. Um, let's not attack me. Attack, attack the Nopon. It seems to clearly know you. That would help me a good bit. And uh, side attack to deal a little bit extra attack damage here. Okay, come on. There you go. And now I wanna. I wanna use the Photon for that. I know I could have gone for the final charge there, but whatever, it's not too important here. Because I wanna get to level 2, and Nia should be ready with a level 3 attack after that, if I'm quick enough with all my things. Then someone break her, that would help us a good bit. Not, not break us, break her. There's a little bit of a difference there, buddies. Sounds different. But yeah, we can use Ruin as well as right after that, so that's gonna be a good thing for us. Oh, that was beautiful. And let's use Ruinous Wallers. Yeah, it was a beautiful amount of damage there. Now, I can't do anything with stone, so I should not go for it. Because I don't have fire anymore and I don't have an electric type, so let's not use stone here as a startup. Let's get, try and go for the others here, because that would help us a good bit more. I could try for a three times light attack, but I don't think that I'm gonna make it that far. I mean, if I would get topple combo that I had with... Um, them beforehand, then that would probably work out for us. So let's try and see if we can do that. If not, we're gonna just use whatever we have for a good chain attack. Let's see if I can pull this off. It would be amazing if we could. I don't think, however, that that's gonna happen. 
Again, it would be really amazing if we could do that. I'm gonna charge my whole attacks up a good bit before I'm gonna use it. There we go, that should be good enough. Not gonna use Ruinous Water because I wanna have it for a chain attack. And Ruinous Water doesn't do us any good anymore for the chain attack because we've already done that. Damn it, Invincible. Let's just attack you. And we really need to break her so that she's um, susceptible to topple because that way we can deal a lot more damage to her and have the Gamma Ray still active and that would be amazing for me because I don't think that way right now I can do anything. There was such a good point for everything but I can't get back to it. Well, let's use win, whatever. If anything we can get one double chain attack off and that'd be amazing so I could go over to rock. No, I should use the chain attack now. Because if I go over to rock then that'd be over so overkill starts. Yeah, she doesn't stand a chance anymore. Then I want to use, since that deals more damage, let's use drama here. Good. And now with Poppy we'll break that and have the ability to go one more time. Burst it, sorry not break it but burst it. One more time, let's use Mithra again because she deals so much damage that it will just a good bit here. Amazing, I love to see that. And then Drama here again because she's weak against water and that's only gonna be helpful for us. And for Tora we only have Poppy so let's do that. And. Final big blast here. Good. That should do it. That was good. Probability of success falling. Switching to strategic retreat mode. Lila! Wait! Okay, time to see if we can run after her. Actually, give me a quick second because you just used a tasty sausage and that's not gonna help anyone. We need every, anything else but meat again for you. So how about um, of the staple food category, let's use that. Sure, because for Boreas that's only gonna be a helpful thing. And that way we unlock something else for him. Ta-da! Because we just need to feed him. I should really feed him off screen. That way I don't have to worry about that anymore. So don't care about that. Don't care about the notice board right now. There's bigger things at stake right now. Like what the crap do you want? Wow we had some nice slowdown there. What do you want? These are rare and unusable chunk items that we've gathered from all over. You might find something that's useful to you. If you do be sure to buy it. I don't need phones wasting my time. What do you actually sell? Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna take a bigger look into this later on. Because for now you don't do me any good. There's a lot of enemies that I don't wanna have any part of. We have some strong slowdown. Probably too many enemies back there. But whatever. Again, I'm not gonna care about that. She's gone. Ether furnace reading lost. It seems she has escaped. Lila. Long time ago, Grampy Pon Susu and Dada Pon Tatazo were working on her. Her name was Lila. Grampy Pon and Dada Pon and. Tora all wanted to become driver. However, not single one of us have potential. So, we decide to work together and make artificial blade. Blade even we can use. 
But then... You must run, Tora. Take this and go. Someday you finish what we started. After that, Tora hide out in Torigoth City, making Poppy based on blueprints and ether furnace that upon left for Tora. Don't you have any idea who the attackers were? Tora not know who, but they definitely wanted to steal Lila. If it was Lila they were after, how'd she end up here in the Empire? It looked like they were Imperial soldiers after her. Tora have no idea. But one thing is most confusing. What's that? When bad guys attacked the lab, Lila was not finished. There only one who could finish making Lila, Dad upon Tatazo. Which means Tora's father must still be alive somewhere. Dad upon must be held captive by whoever using Lila. You there, don't move. Imperial soldiers. You! So we meet again, driver of the Aegis. Lady Morag, she's the one! That mechanical girl took down our squad! What? Hang on a minute. Where the hell did you get that idea? Unfortunately, they cannot tell difference between Lila and Poppy. So, Rex, was it? Rex? I'm very disappointed to find you stooping to such lowly crimes. Lowly crimes? What the heck? I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guys. No other engage, it's time to defend our own honor. So we have to fight against Morak who is at level 31. Uh, interesting enough, we are also at level 31, so we actually made up the difference in the fight against uh, Lila, which is good. Which is really good for us because, oh crap, I'm taking too much damage there, how about I don't? Yeah, that's, that sounds more like something I want to do. Let's use Photon, because that's better and again, Stone's not doing us any good here. Even though stone would be amazing to have in some other situations, for us here right now, not the most helpful because we don't have anything that can come out of that in the end. So how about I don't go for stone at the moment, even though I'm always really um, in the thought process of let's use what oops, pressed it too soon. That's not gonna be as strong as it could potentially be, but whatever. Ruin those waters! That was a beautiful and strong attack, and since Morag is weak to that, we're doing a good bit there. So let's try perfect top of you. Let's use Photon while I can. Also launched. That's double good. Launch Photon. And let's try to get to stage 3 with Photon this time. I don't think that I can manage it, but we, we might be able to do that. I don't know. Come on, let's topple you yet again because it helps me a good bit. And if I can do this uh, repeatedly over a good amount of time, let's do it again because you're already broken again. Then let's use stage 2 of that. Boom, it's gonna be a good amount of damage there. I like it when things go the way I hope they would. So if we can just break more up repeatedly in a good fashion then we should be 
good to go and do this with a stage 3 here. Because again, we're in this water, we don't need it again. If we want to have more chain attacks, we don't need that the second time we need uh, something else in here. And... Break! Yeah, we can topple you! Perfect! That gives me an extra boon, and now we can supernova that. Yeah, it was beautiful. I did not think that I was gonna get to that, but that turned out so smooth. So I'm gonna switch over to Rock here because everything else at the moment doesn't do us any good. And I mean, it's actually completely irrelevant what we're doing because everything would just instantly take her out. So I wanna be careful and use my chain attack now. And now. <sighs> Let's use Mithra again because she deals a good bit of damage. Ah, I should have gone for something else there. Ah, that might have actually bitten me because if I can't break them now, that was a waste of time because they attack random things. If that does not go against water, then that was a waste of time here. Yep, of course it didn't go against water. Your skills have improved, boy. Mitra. I know, I know. I won't use that power, okay? Let's stick to foresight for this. If you really need to attack, I'll hand it over to Pyra. Thanks. The Aegis has changed. What happened to her appearance? Answer me! You want answers? Then put the swords away! What's wrong with you? I'll listen to your confession while you lie defeated. Rex, after this foresight, I'll switch to Pyra. Understood. Impossible. He dodged it. Now it's my turn. Lady Mora, look at the Aegis, so you can change at will. Eat this! Pyra? We can do this, without hitting them. Ha! <laughs> it's like you read my mind. <laughs> Are you holding back on me again, boy? We just don't have any reason to fight you. <sighs> Enough, both of you. I know you. You're from the Argentum Guild's Intelligence Division. Lady Mora, stand down arms. These not the ones who infiltrate the facility and attack your soldiers. Then, the culprit behind the attack was not the Artificial Blade standing here now, is that right? They're very similar, but not the same. Nira Nira saw her with own eyes. I had a feeling we were being watched since our arrival. I'm quite sorry for causing concern. Nira Nira has been auditing Argentum Trade Guild. Ah, so you were keeping an eye on us because we came in on a guild ship. How ironic that your suspicion should happen to prove our innocence. It appears I was too hasty in judging you. I should not have attacked you so suddenly. My apologies. No, no, that's fine. Nobody got hurt in the end. I'm just glad it all got cleared up now. An apology from the illustrious Flamebringer? A rare reward in itself? Still not happy! Should get years' supply of tasty sausages as compensation! Master Pon, have some self respect. Hmm. I will do what I can within my own means to compensate you. By the way, the culprit who fled the scene, might I ask what manner of connection you have with them? You must tell me all.
I see. It seems it would be best for all of us if we work together for the moment. Us work with you? Indeed. My goal is to capture the artificial blade and track down the criminals behind its actions. And from what you just told me, those I seek likely have Tora's father held captive. Would you not say our interests align? Uh, I guess so. Well, it's definitely better to have her working with us than against us. We shouldn't take the power of Frigid, jewel of the Empire, too lightly. If she went all out on me, even I wouldn't be able to hold back. And then, we'd burn this place to the ground. I am honored that the Aegis herself thinks so highly of me. You may not remember it, but I faced you a few times before. Let's just say it wasn't easy. Oh, really? But that's a story for another time. What do you say, guys? I can't deny I'd rather avoid making an enemy of them. All right, then. So, from this moment on, I suppose we're allies. For the moment, I will return to the palace. If you learn anything new, please send word. I will instruct the palace guards to allow you audience with me. All right. Are you sure you wish to partner yourself with these people? Just as you were not using your full strength, neither still were they. Yet you saw the power they demonstrated. How could I not feel intrigued? Drawn by your driver instincts? Something like that. And besides... Hmm? I get the feeling that if I stay near that boy, I might bear witness to something quite extraordinary. It sounds like you have quite the adventure. But it's good that you work things out. Anyway, we'll see if we can track Lila down somehow ourselves. I too will see if I can find any leads. No matter what, Mui Mui and Fred will find Professor Tatazo. Right then, so how are we supposed to track down this Lila? Can we not just ask around the streets like we usually do? Might not be that helpful, it was night when it happened, so I doubt many people saw her. <laughs> Time for Tora to show genius skills! You have some kind of idea, Tora? Tora, sure it, it must be that upon who finished building Lila. Yes, you told us as much last night. And Poppy made based on blueprints Tara got from that upon. So Lala and Poppy use basically the same design. Which would mean they are constructed from similar materials. Exactly, yes! Oh, I get it. If you ask around to find out who's been buying those materials in Moradain, it might lead us to however built her. Rare good suggestion from Masterpan! So, Tora, what material exactly would they need to make an artificial blade? Well, if the furnace is obvious, but apart from that, you also need Tetra Circle, Snake Joint, Black Ash, Data Vessel, Rabbit Diet, Morph Orb, Photonic Coil, Fairy Tail Belt Pulley, Arc Incinerator, Inset Strip, Perfect Range Sensor, Bion Connector. Wait, 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 wait. Nobody's gonna be able to remember all that. Chara not even say one thirteenth of list yet. There were a couple of names in there that sounded familiar though. That buying connector was meant to be easy to savage around Gormod, right? Actually, almost impossible to find anywhere other than Gormod around this season. 
So whoever we're looking for would have to import them from Gormod, am I right? Perhaps we might find some leads at Port Ananglumam. We don't have much else to go on, so it's worth a try. Well, and we're gonna right. see to it and find out who built Lila in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, how oh, about leaving a comment down below? I really would appreciate that. See all of you in my next video. Bye!